Today's a little bit of a different video. Uh, it's about 8.15 in the morning and I'm about to go on a client shoot. And I thought, why not just kind of take you guys with me, show you a little bit of the day. Uh, I'll try and film as much as I can. I don't even know if this is going to turn into a video. I'm just going to film what I can and see if it becomes something that I can swing into a video. Hopefully you guys enjoy anyway. <laughs> So full disclosure, I started filming this video with the intent of basically vlogging this client shoot for you guys, just to show you a little bit of what I do for a living. The shoot ended up being a fairly long day, but with not a lot to do on my part, so it ended up not really being that interesting to be sharing for you guys on YouTube. Although when I was on the shoot, I started to think about all the kind of longer shoots I've been on in the past, and all the little things that I've learned to do to make these shoots more bearable, and to get the most out of them. So I thought, why not share some of these things here on the channel to see if you guys do the same or if I'm just weird and hopefully it'll help somebody who hasn't been on one of these shoots that maybe has one coming up. So for me, one of the main things that I need to stay on top of when I'm on a longer shoot is really just staying focused, not getting distracted. As the hours go on, you can become lazy, your attention can go a million places at once. And that's usually when problems in your filming start cropping up and you make those little mistakes that you wouldn't usually make. There's something I like to do that I wish I'd really done from the get go is I like to take notes of things. So I take notes of things like my light intensity, my settings of my camera, my focal lengths, all these little things. And I like to write them down on my phone or even on a bit of paper uh, for each shot. So if I'm going back to that shot at some part of the day or a similar shot, I can refer back to the old settings and then it keeps me right, it keeps my shots consistent throughout the day. So for example, on this shoot, it was a food product shoot. So I had to keep repeating the same shots throughout the day and then going away and then coming back to that. So because I had all the settings and everything basically noted down, it was really easy for me to just go back and get a carbon copy of the original shot. And I keep doing that throughout the day, keep them consistent, keep the client happy. So if you can help yourself out just by writing them down on your phone or a bit of paper, I would definitely do that. Obviously all your shots are important, but you'll know going into the shoot which shots are the most important, which are the ones that you really need to nail for the video. It's really easy to fall into the trap of being tired or lazy and you just say, yeah, I got the shot and then you move on and then you get the nightmare of looking back at it later and you've missed focus or something, something silly's happened. So. With all those important shots, shoot them twice. In fact, shoot them three times, four times. Shoot them as many times as you need to make sure they're absolutely perfect. Because if all else fails, you need to nail the important shots. The next thing's a little bit outside the box, but it's equally important and something that I actually found out the hard way is that you need to make sure that you've eaten enough food and you've drank enough water. I can't tell you how many times that I've skipped breakfast because I've had like a really early call time. And then for like the first half of the shoot, I'm basically in pain with hunger because I decided not to eat anything. Um, and I can't stop to have something to eat because there's just a million things happening at once. So eat food before you go on a shoot. It will give you energy throughout the day and it'll basically stop you feeling like One tip I could give would be fill your camera bag with some healthy snacks, something that you can just eat on the fly that won't stop production or anything like that. Something you can get away with just eating quickly and moving on. And like probably all filmmakers, Caffeine is basically an essential part of my workflow. So if I'm drinking coffees or energy drinks, or whatever it is, that's great, it gives me the energy for the shoot. But you also need to make sure that you're balancing that out with enough food and water. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm about three coffees deep and I've started to dehydrate, eh, my shots start to lose a little bit of their integrity. Also, if you know what it's like to film when you're a little bit dehydrated, it's really not a fun experience. I tend to cramp up and when I'm holding a camera, and I start to get like weird cramping feelings in like my, my side and my ribs when I'm trying to like get a shot. Yeah, that isn't fun. Okay, so let's talk about hero shots. Doesn't really matter what you film, there probably is some sort of hero shot, whether that's a product shot that shows off the branding, the main interview in your piece, or it could even just be like an establishing shot, like the opening shot to your film or your project that shows the audience where you are. But there's always some sort of hero shot that you need to get for your piece to kind of make sense. This tends to be more often than not the part of the filming that the client cares about the most. So before you leave any shoots, make sure you have something that resembles a hero shot for your project. 
And finally, my last tip, wear comfortable clothing. Listen, I don't care who you're filming, make sure you wear something comfortable. I'm not saying that you have to wear, you know, sandals and shorts when you're filming with a high profile client. Of course, you might want to wear something a bit more um, respectable, but that doesn't mean that you have to wear a suit and tie when you're trying to film low angles and you're crawling about the floor with your camera or you're running with a gimbal. You can definitely find things that are still smart, but you're also comfortable in and that you can um, last in throughout the day. So this means wearing comfortable shoes, wearing something that you can move quickly and freely in, and something that suits the weather. There's nothing worse than filming when you're too cold or you're too warm. So yeah, you can definitely find things that are professional, but also really comfortable. Um, you won't regret that when you're on a shoot. So yeah, that's my tips. I hope that that gets you through a long shoot if you've got one coming up. And if you've not done one before, take these things as they are or ignore them, whatever. But they helped me out and they help me out still to this day. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate the support that I've been getting on these videos. And I'm going to try and vlog another shoot if one comes up, something that's a bit more interesting. And hopefully I'll actually finish the vlog. If you did enjoy the video, I really appreciate it if you liked the video below and if you haven't, subscribe to see more content from myself. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.